we go now. Grown and sexy, yeah. this a new bop. How do you want it? Coming with that Tupac. I ball it, remote to that two dot. Give me the re how I come from a cool spot. BK, yeah. they all want to play. Yeah. Oak trees, brownstones, where they want to stay. You know. No logic, no time. No deposit, no rhyme. I handle issues. Oh, so I'm the moderator. I'm here with the great MC Light. We kicking off, it's a brand new album, Knife Studio album, one of one. It's a big time, it's a good time, it's an exclusive time. If you here, woo, you one of the ones. We one of the ones. One of one, MC Light, you know what's going on. One of one, MC Light. I'm here with KJLH. Make sure you follow us on our social media at Radio Free KJLH. Let's go. <laughs> this is a Knife Studio album.
working on this particular uh, album with this particular artist is literally a dream come true because, you know, uh, I've been a fan of, like all of us, of MC Life for as long as I can remember. So to be able to, uh, you know, put an album together, you know, I, I do want to one song on somebody or a couple songs or two, but when you're able to help shape it, help shape an entire, uh, you know, body of work for somebody legendary like this, it's a huge honor to me. And uh, when I know she said she called it one-on-one -on -one for a particular reason, but I, in my mind, one-on-one -on -one stands out. Because you know, there's a few people in entertainment or singers where um, you hear them, and the first note that they sing, you know exactly who they are. Yeah. Like when you hear Luther's voice. Oh, yeah. Who is that? No, who knows that? Who that is? You hear Raphael Sadiq's voice. You know, oh, that's. And so, as an MC, when you hear MC Light's voice, there's literally just there's no ambiguity. You know exactly who it is. When you tell her that you love her, say it louder. King Vision, no hope. And so, you know, I was like, I'll tell you what. Cause you told your version of the story, but you told mine. Uh oh. So we have been working on music for about eight years. You been eight years? in hip-hop, like you were part of the foundation of it and, and what we're able to see today. Um, and so yes, a, a woman of a certain age, a rapper of a certain age, right, do you see or do you feel like you have more to say, right? We've heard rappers who are like, yeah, you have to read Nate, what am I gonna talk about? I'm wondering for you, do you have more to say and could we foresee more albums out of you? Absolutely, we have one in the making now. And on that one already, we have Slim Rick, Tony Braxton. Yeah. And so we hold for cut and we keep cut. So that's the thing. Um, but yes, absolutely. I think um, last year being the 50th year of hip hop, it taught a lot of us uh, that have been in the game for a really long time that there is a market out there, regardless of whether the majors want to take a look at um, what it means to promote. See, the thing about a mature artist who has a mature uh, audience, uh, audience right. you have to be smart. You can't feed them BS. Here we go now. Grown and sexy. Yeah. This a new bop. How do you want it? Coming with that Tupac. I ball it. Remote to that two dot. Your men are read how I come from a cool spot. BK, they all wanna play. Oak trees, brown stones, where they wanna stay. No logic, no time. No deposit, no rhyme. I handle issues like a crime boss. Get that problem there on a permanent time off. You should see me in the morning, beat the worm to it. Nothing too hard to start going to learn through it. Don't kill time, breathe life in the moment. My word, I can own it. Hate, I don't condone it. Got my boo thing listening to Wu Tang. Like little Mama bring the drama with my shoe gang. Remember this in jail? 